problems with the word right. The way it's been used, um, tell me an anecdote to indicate my problem with the way people use the word right. Back in the early 60s, some German literary scholar came to West Africa. We got to Senegal at the airport, went to immigration to submit his passport. And the immigration officer asked him, yes, Mr. So-and-so, what do you do? And, and he said, I'm a writer. And the immigration officer said, fantastic, you're welcome, and rolled out the red carpet and took him in. I don't need the money to go and see Sengo. But he was well received because he came as a writer. He got to Accra Airport, and the immigration officer asked him, Mister, what do you do? He said, I'm a writer. So he was given the red carpet treatment and allowed to come in without any problems. Then he got to Lagos Airport. Mr. What do you do? I'm a writer. The man looked at him and said, Yes, what do you do? <laughs> he said, I'm a writer. He said, what do you do? What do you do? And then he got out his pen, scribbled something and said, I write too. <laughs> so the guy had a hard time convincing the guy that he that he had was a professional writer. So the point, of course, is that all kinds of people write, we all write letters. But when we use the word writer, we don't include any of those. The language has forced us to call, call people writers, we happen to be story writers. They tell stories in writing. And that's what I'm going to talk about, who is an African story writer. Now, the second point I want to make is that when you consider any collection of stories by one person, or a story by one person, or a collection of stories of any kind, a question arises, what family tradition does this collection belong to? Just as a person belongs to a family, so too does a collection of stories, or a person's story. So given a collection of stories by an African, how can we determine the tradition, the literary family, to which his story belongs? That's the topic I want to examine today. And, um,